Um, she doesn't understand me. She doesn't care about me. She doesn't need me. All of this is created by Children's Social Services, expert, Mother F and FFs, and Anne, who is a professional teacher, and in her spare time she fostered as a, as a social, service, social worker, foster carer. She's just part of them. Very subtle. Um, that no one would notice that she is part of them. And it, it's to the death of me. It's to the death of me. So my daughter, she's, she's teaching my daughter that my daughter is m- her dad's daughter. Daughter like dad. She's not my daughter because she looks like him. Again, the physical appearance then. Uh, significantly to be fooled by the fact that her intention is to teach my daughter that she should love the dead more than the living. And I'm her living parent. She's always been my daughter. I've, I've never blocked her from having a relationship with her dad. And uh, he's dead. He died. 2012. It's now 2022. And so they've made a sacrifice to say that I don't exist. Um, my daughter doesn't have to serve me. She doesn't owe me anything. There's no right and wrong. It's all neutral. She, it's all about her decision. My decision doesn't matter. Doesn't count. My advice doesn't count. Everything I say is out of context. While she's at a high place somewhere in her achievement ability or her attention seeking or even her wisdom that she has the authority to rule and God has no authority. Um, so, is God a loser? I don't think so. I don't think God is a loser. But my daughter doesn't need to distinguish between what is right and wrong. Um, she, she, know, she knows that she cannot keep any promises to me but she doesn't love me anymore and I sense that she doesn't love me anymore and I feel like I can't love her anymore either. If, she, if, she, if that's what she's decided to <sighs> disown me. She's already disowned me. But, because what she says is not the same as what she does. And Anne, Anne has taught her to do that, which is, which is a lunatic. Or it's, it's ten times worse than a maniac. A lunatic is ten times worse than a, worse than a maniac because it does the opposite of what it says. And this is the, the fulfilment of any black, black magic that makes you sense you cannot keep a promise and you cannot be trustworthy initially. And no one can be trusted. If you, if you do trust someone, you will be punished. Or there must be conditions there. There's no such thing as unconditional love. And we must realise this, according to black magic. And the attempt on my daughter's soul to make my daughter obedient. So her, her, dog, her, dog, her dog is dead. So she's now looking for another dog, who is my daughter, to, to make uh, my daughter obedient to uh, Anne's every whim, every wish, and develop this type of relationship that is mistreating my daughter and not, not really consider my daughter's voice and my daughter's soul, which is emotional abuse. I, I know so because she emotionally abused me. Uh, what I felt never mattered when I was growing up in that house and we, used to, we, we did used to sometimes play board games and games but there was a sense of lack of love and natural physical affection she couldn't go- give any hugs she couldn't give any emotional support with feeling um, if there was a reward um, it, was, it was either food or free time to go out with your boyfriend that was a reward, food and free time to go out with your boyfriend which is ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous that she could not offer the children she could care for actual phys- physical, uh, natural affection and emotional affection. So how can she be a carer then? She's not really a carer. Uh, so generations, this is like 40 years have passed of my life and I cannot rebuild my life in the future with, without the interference of so-called Anne and interference of my daughter's life. I can't say anything. I can't get involved. Long, long past after Anne has been dead and buried. So what I expect is for my daughter to be age 30 or 50, for me to actually have a natural hug, a natural physical and emotional contact. I cannot expect it now because they're always in the same room. They're always there, watching you, waiting to somehow have a dig and destroy your confidence, destroy any promise we make to each other because of certain criteria of them saying, I'm making child abuse and emotional abuse, when in fact it is them. From the be- all the way from the beginning, ever since my daughter was born, that witch was there. And I haven't gone into the details of the video why I think she's a witch, because I, I a lot of the information is personal and private. I'm only looking at the main things now. And I'm saying that, I don't know when I'll, I'll probably record, I'll probably share this on YouTube and Facebook in, um, I'll share it in, when will I share this? I'll probably share it just before my, my birthday, or on my birthday, because they've all cursed my birthday. They said I wasn't allowed to be happy because my parents didn't love me and my parents didn't want me to be happy, happy either. So they were practicing witchcraft in um, astrology and the occult and the fact that they, they, they worship sex body, sex their bodies and they worship money. So that's the throne of Satan, the devil, satanic. Um, and that's the central part of being the queen of hell versus me, who is the queen, am I the queen of heaven? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I do believe I'm royal in Christ. That's how I close this video now, I've had enough. I have to finish this drink. It has three paracetamols in it. I normally have two. These are all the balls. 
keep my pills here, they're dissolved. Because sleep does help with trauma, shock, devastation, a nightmare. I, can't, I cannot end it. It's, it it's, I'm forced to live with an enemy. We can sleep with an enemy. <sighs> if I had known what it was like to be loved, I would have not had... I've only had sex with two men my entire life. And both of the men were a mistake. I only have one child. We have any other children. Never been loved by a man. Never been touched by a man who loved me. Only abusers and, and, and bad users. Not good users, bad users. <sighs> oh. If I had known, if I had a mother, if I had a foster carer that actually cared, and that was a, a genuine Christian, but this is a false Christian, which is ten times worse than an atheist, practicing black magic. Preoccupied with modernism, fashion, in the, everyone in the church, everyone in the religious place of worship. If it is Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, Seventh Day Adventist, whatever church it is, evangelical, it doesn't matter what Christian church it is, religious place of worship, including Muslims, it doesn't matter because the devil is there. The devil is there in, at hospitals, at schools, at workplaces, even in your home by the use of the internet which is a monstrosity this can be my tool this can be incredibly, incredibly useful it can also be weaponized against me so as far as I know in closing God is one Jesus said it's a finished devil whether you do things exactly or the opposite you're finished there's nothing that the devil has done that I don't know about anyway if it's not me that is aware of it and that I don't know God knows God knows everything that the devil is doing and he's finished he's already done God is the winner God will give me a new body and a new a new foundation if this is out of this world and a new planet there will be no more ocean there will be no more sun there will be rivers and god will be the sun the brightness where no more evil no more death will dwell that's how i encourage myself and that's how i've encouraged my daughter from the book of revelation a new planet earth a new world system empire it won't be politics it will be people and it will be great I think that's more of a pain relief than my pills. In closing, my Maria Molina and my new name, Omis Nikolic, my old name, new name, Mimata Punch, Karen Zeka. So, I may do this video exactly on my birthday as my birthday gift and life gift. That I didn't know that God knew and God showed me where black, black magic is coming from. She's the main, she's the main, the head of it all. She's not going to be my life gift. She's, the, she's my death wish. Oh, God. Should I do this on my birthday or should I, should I post it now? I, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore because the more I put the truth out there about me, my family as a single mum, the more the more of the risk and the more of the battle for the truth to be known and speak to power. Bad power versus good power. It is a battle between good and evil. And um, even if it feels like I've lost everything, those who are true and loyal to God will re reclaim everything Satan has stolen because God does keep God's promises. Even if I was to die tomorrow, I know what God has done for me and my daughter and who my daughter is, even if she's totally demon-possessed or a demon child coming from the sperm or coming from the womb. She's a lot more than a, than the mother's womb. She's a lot more than a father's sperm. She's her own person. I mean, you have these systems that steal my child's soul. It's, it's, it breaks my heart. I feel... I feel like that worm that's going to eat other dead, living dead zombies' flesh forever in hell. I feel that that worm is already eating me as a living dead zombie. It's hell on earth. I don't have to wait for an afterlife to experience being bitten by an evil bitch, witch. So what they've done to me in the land of the living will be done to them in the land of the dead. Torment, that they call the abyss, they call hell. But why do I have to wait in conclusion until she dies? That's why I'm up at night praying, God, do something now. I shouldn't have to wait until she's dead, until my daughter's 18th birthday. Until she's robbed and raped by an Indian pervert. They think they know my daughter. He doesn't know my daughter. She's emotionally destroyed. She's out, out, out rooted of her family and her Christian faith. And he's a devil, that Indian thug. An atheist, again. I married an atheist because of John Roderick, who I found in the church and destroyed my life. But then, again, the devil in the church. That's why I married an atheist, because it was a devil in the church. And the devil wants the same thing, bad history to repeat itself. And my daughter to do exactly what I've done. Or the opposite of what I've done. Because she doesn't want to marry him. She wants to enjoy a casual, open relate, casual sex and open relationship. Oh, no. I close this video now. Completed. Again, uh, at the end of August 2022.